Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel, okay? I'm just here to tell you I'm trying to bring you entertainment news today from Celebrity Insider, guys. Yes, a salacious story coming from that camp, that magazine, that YouTube blog. All right, and it's written by Dylan Fisher, okay? He's one of the journalists over there. One of the commentators that wrote up this piece, okay, they giving me the title of Candy Burris gives a scoop on explosive fights and Nene Leakes transformation on new season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, that caught my eye. You know, anything dealing with candy, we want a candy girl, yeah, candy, uh, 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 candy girl. Candy girl, girl, that's what I'm talking about. Candy girl, are you lost your mind? When did Nene call herself gonna be civil with anybody? All right, that ain't her claim to fame, that ain't her motif. Okay, getting people together, or should I say, get bitches together, is her idea of resolving any resolution and making her stand as a queen alone on her chariot, not throwing tomatoes in the street. With peasants, okay? That's what Mariah did on Merit of Medicine. <laughs> That's her claim to fame tagline, okay? She would not come off her chariot to throw tomatoes in the street with the peasants. No, she won't, okay? And I stuck still to that little tagline. I use that in my everyday life, too, when people get on my nerves. But I was just like, okay, what is Candy talking about? What is Candy Burris talking about? Nene on wave. The white flag and saying she's going to sit down and give people the time of day. I don't think so. But let's get on into this article, y'all, and let's peep some game here. Let's see what Candy talking about. Okay, again, the article was written by Dylan Fisher. Okay, let's shout him out over there at Celebrity Insider. Okay, it goes on to say Diva. All right, Diva Candy Burris has decided to spill the tea on the upcoming season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she has made it clear it will be explosive. It will be an explosive one, y'all. Like tick, tick, boom, boom, boom. Okay? I hope it is. I really do. I hope y'all don't give me, what, uh, seven episodes and four of them be good and the rest of them be Suck City. Come on. Or vice versa. Three of them good and four of them be Suck City. But you know I'm going to be there with y'all. It's either going to be a 30-minute video or it's going to be... 12 or 15 minutes, depending on what they're giving me. And when you know it's 12 or 15 minutes, ain't nothing happen. It's like, tune in for next time. <laughs> Guys, tune in for next time. Because they didn't give us nothing. And that's what it's going to be. Because y'all know my videos are very long and entertaining. At least they're entertaining to me. Because I get a chuckle, a chuckle here and there when I be tripping my own self out about what I'm talking about. But getting back to the article, it said, Candy... Did an interview with Hollywood Life, okay, where she said that fans would discover a new and improved Nene Leakes 51 on season 12 of the hit Bravo show. I'm like, did she get cloned? Did y'all make her into a robot? Because the one that I know, she's explosive all the time and she ain't on nobody's side. She says she stands alone. She's a queen. She has her peach. She's on her throne and it ain't got nothing to do with y'all because she said y'all her co-workers. <laughs> So when did she turn a new leaf on life? I want to know. I want to know. Okay, because this new improved Nene, I don't know. Because is she coming this season for sympathy? Because her whole tag line is going to be surrounded by Greg. I already did a video on that. She already done put her little henchman out there. We're going to attack Greg this season. Hopefully it's something totally different. Because I don't think he can take all that pressure, y'all. He's been sick lately. So, you know, let's keep him continuously in prayer and, and be able to ride the wave that Nene going to put him on. <laughs> okay. But anyway, going back to this article, it says Nene has had a few fallouts. No say. You don't say, Candy. Hell, she fell out with y'all, with you last season. Now she's trying to turn a new leaf to get us back on her side. No, I sit neutral with Nene because I was riding for her, you know, hard. But she had just really got on my nerves on some episodes with all this whining. Now, I don't take her as no weak uh, person, you know what I'm saying? Y'all may say weak, weak bitch, but I just say person, individual. Okay, strong-minded woman, okay? 
Whether she right or wrong, she definitely sticks to the program. She's going to come out smelling like a rose. She ain't going to be looking like she weak. And she wants sympathy as the icing on the cake. Okay? She got to have her sympathy. Everything got to be centered around NeNe Leaks. All right? That's her claim to fame. And she hasn't suppressed it. Not now episode. Okay? Not now season. All right? But going back, it said NeNe had a few fallouts with se several of the ladies last season. She fought with Portia Williams and unfollowed everyone on social media. The comedian went as far as saying that her Real Housewives of Atlanta cast are her friends. See, that's why I said, y'all. I'm, re I'm reviewing and I'm remembering things she said. It's locked in my memory banks. Okay? She ain't have none of them as no friend status. They were co-workers, constituents, colleagues. You get where I'm going? And then they messed up and said she was a comedian. <laughs> what? No. She's acting like a total fool running around him sometimes. Okay? Or just that all the time. How do y'all get with her? I don't know. But a comedian? I think not. Moving on back to the article. Um, it said, um, Candy said that Nene has mended fences. And added, yes, which is shocking, but I am getting along with Nene right now, which is something that Nene is trying to work on. Some relationships in the group will see how it goes. She's putting forth the effort, but everybody has to meet each other halfway. Now I'm like, wait a minute, Kane, hold up, flag on play, throw the white flag down like we're playing football. Because one thing about it, well, none of y'all alone on good terms with her, the ending of season 11. And at the reunion, are you kidding me? Did you forget? Did you bump your head when you were traveling this summer? Girl, come on. You ain't telling the truth. You're lying, Candy. You're lying. Remember the lies, the lies, the lies. Candy, you're lying. Okay, girl? And that don't look cute. All right. So, no, I'm not believing that foolishness you're trying to serve me up on a platter. Take it back. I don't want it. Take it back. All right? Uh, tell the chef to cook me up something different because I'm not buying that whole meal. All right? But, uh... Only reason Nene is basically trying to show a good faith effort is because she tried to tape with you all. Remember, you're not in an episode, you don't get paid. <laughs> so let's put that at the forefront. Everybody needs to be accountable and everybody needs to be counted when it comes to each episode that is feasing up uh, now, that is feasing, that is shown um, a feature each time y'all bring out a new episode for the season, honey. So you ain't messing with no mindless people over here. We might like mindless drama, but we ain't stupid by a long shot, honey. You got educated people up here trying to dissect this Real Housewives of Atlanta's uh, seasons, episodes, and uh, characters that they want to play. Okay, since they say they ain't like that in real life. Okay, I had to give it what they give it. Okay, but moving on back to the article, it says the escape singer also confessed that rumors are accurate and during the trip to Canada... Or Toronto, Canada. Kenya Boy, Tanya, uh, Tanya, Sam, Cynthia Beta, and Portia got explosive. Okay, I'm pretty sure they did. I'm pretty sure they did. Because it got to get a little softer, especially with the new season starting. Don't come with no mess. Don't come with no nothing less than 100. Okay? Going back to the article, it says Todd Tucker's wife said, It was crazy. Any trip with the housewives is crazy. It starts off cool, everybody's getting along, and of course, you have the explosive moments. This time, I'm kind of getting along with everybody, and that's a blessing. Okay, Candy, all right, all right. I guess you can stand down, all right? But when it's time for you to pick up that, uh, what do you call that, that pole and run that race, <laughs> girl, put your tennis shoes on, lead them uh, stilettos down, okay? Stand down on them stilettos. Pick up your knife because you got to run. Okay? The baton has been tossed to you. That was my pun. Going back to the article. It says, Nene confirmed the change of heart and attitude in a post that says, Sitting on my flight this morning, reflecting, thinking and about how I've had to make amends with people who actually wronged me and the way that has made me and how that has made me feel. When you're a big personality, the fingers get pointed in your direction. A lot like the bad guy. It's crazy. It's just crazy to me how society judges from the outside in instead of the inside out. I'm getting grateful to God. No, she said, I'm just grateful to God that I was given great discernment. Happy Sunday. Your day is coming. P.S. Some people play victim well. 
Okay, not like, see, that's just recycled trash, okay? Recycled news, the whole thing I just read, because we, I had probably had that in another video. So, see what I'm saying? They ain't got too much to talk about. They keep recycling this mess, but you, you ain't finna serve me up that whack-ass platter you tried to give me. Uh-uh. I send it back to the chef. I'm not taking it. I'm not even going to bite into it. It smells funky. All right, going back to the article. Then, uh, meanwhile... Uh, Candace having a lot, is having a hot girl summer with Megan, the stallion, and daughter, Riley Birds, in a series of new pictures. One fan said, you all look so good, you should definitely have Meg in your dungeon show next time. Okay? Mm -mm. Yes. That's what she said, okay? Another commenter stated, ah, oh, this is so cute, mummy daughter bun is special. I have three daughters and I love them beyond. Mother-daughter tension is a myth. It's called parenting. But I want to see that win even at my expense. Okay, Candy's getting her fans ready for the drama. I'm like, Candy, you ain't doing a very good job. You're sitting up here going on each uh, social media platform of yours and other people. And you're going to all these different talk show uh, venues, try to promote Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I ain't mad at you, honey, because I already said it. I got opposition. Coming from me, coming for me, saying, No, Candy is this, Candy is that, da, 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 da. no, Candy, this is her bread and butter. Trust and believe it. And until y'all get on that train of thinking, she's gonna always fool y'all. Because if she had to leave Real Housewives of Atlanta, she would be, I wouldn't say destitute, but she'll be looking for the next big deal. All right? I'm just saying, because my next video is gonna be with Nene Leaks being on a hip hop square. Rapper edition or something to that effect. Yeah, see, Nene making them big moves right there. Okay, so that's what Candy need to be doing while she's sitting up here probably trying to solidify herself in a talk show hosting gig. That's probably what I'm just assuming now, just you know, reading a little further into the dynamics, you know, uh, where Candy was trying to go with this because you know, y'all, well, y'all probably don't know, but she was on um, the Strands and Sarah um, talk show. In the morning time, uh, I just caught a few times, you know, it was really like playback. So I didn't catch it on the spot when it was actually live in me and tape, of course. But, yeah, she was trying to solidify that over with Kiki Palmer. They don't really adopt her as the person that fills in for Michael when he's over at CNN or some other news commentary journalist thing he's doing that he wants to be taken more serious. You know, like one of those uh, news broadcasting systems, stations, you know, we come in. Uh, global news that's happening. Yeah, I guess you would want to be taken serious as a journalist and not necessarily a little host of a talk show. You know what I'm saying? It goes for so long, but it gets old and boring, and you don't only meet a certain clientele of people. So he's trying to upscale himself. You know, first he was on that Ripper and Kelly thing, and then it was Michael and Kelly, and uh, you know, it's just he's just trying to, I guess, wean himself out. But he's trying to find a good replacement, and he definitely has it. With his co-partner, I forget the lady's name. She's pregnant at the time, but she's going to be going out for a couple of months. Because, you know, she's having a baby. So, I guess they're going to have, like, guest celebrity reality stars or guest celebrities that are really not doing anything, like making movies and this thing. This, uh, or any other type of venture out there, or venture they're trying to capitalize on. So, he's uh, doing, like, a recycled type uh, spokesperson to come in and take his place. But Kiki, as Kiki Palmer, that is, has been the main solo fixture over there at the Michael Strand Sarah, I think her name is the show. Okay. Now I know Candy was featured on there a couple of times, and maybe that's something she wanted to solidify longevity so she can spread her wings a little bit more. But I guess it got canned. But that's my point. That's my logic of thinking and foreseeing what Candy was probably talking about on a previous video I did about she was upset because she didn't get a chance to close a deal that she really wanted. You know what I'm saying? She tried to be a household name other than Real Housewives of Atlanta because she may be, in fact, getting tired. You know what I'm saying? Because it does take, I guess, six months out of her life. Uh, each year, and she has to do or find something to do the other six months, you know. But like I said, when you get in the entertainment industry, unless you're producing or, or, or making something coming to fruition, you really ain't making no money out there, okay? But you're doing whatever you can do to stay in the spotlight. And we as YouTube tubers, concrete, ugh, YouTube content creators, that was a time to us, y'all. We're doing it for you 
as well as with you. Y'all always think we're against y'all, but you know, y'all be happy that y'all come out here and we got to address the bad sides of certain things y'all do. That's all. You know, we got to, you know, call the spade a spade sometimes. But it just is what it is. I mean, Candy, you don't know, sit down here. Got your, you had Candy Cold at night. Now you got to speak on it. You know, like you want to be a YouTube sensation yourself. So I'm thinking you don't got bit by the bug. You want to be on a talk show, honey. But I'm like, oh, maybe it's not for you. You know, maybe something else. I don't know. But keep your job. Keep your money. Make a job on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because Nene been there before you. Okay, you see she's still hanging on. Oh, she's trying to hang on like for dear life. Okay, this is her lifeline. This is her oxygen. She must have it to be able to do what she wants to do in her other endeavors. Okay, but y'all ain't fooling me. Y'all leasing them stores out there. Them, them, uh, maybe you, no, nah, I don't think you even own tags. You you leasing that building. And that's good because you never know. You know, just like real estate, it turns belly up and then you lose a lot of money. So if you're leasing stuff, paying a lease each and every time, each month, you're saving, you know, because you're not getting a lot of overhead. And then when you take things to the internet, you're really saving because you're not uh, being bombarded with a lot of uh, lawsuits. You know, people come in, try to slip on the floor, try to get money from you, this, that, and third. You know, you can't hardly really do that on online purchasing, which is the wave of the future. You know, people don't want to go out there no more and deal with people. They, the customer service stinks, okay? I'm here to tell you. I'm on the buying side and I'm on the uh, other side. And sometimes it's, it ain't it ain't what it's cracked up to be because the people that you're dealing with, how you have to deal with, and they still treat you like a bottle of crap. You know what I'm saying? But it, you know, it's just your personality. You just have to go with the punches. No, it's gonna you're gonna make somebody happy out probably seeing 30, 40, 50 people out your day each day if you're in customer service like that. You know, it, it, you, everybody you ain't gonna win with. Everybody you ain't going to be in good with. But, you know, just as long as you keep your vessel clean, you try to treat people the way you want to be treated, you are already winning. You don't want half the battle. Okay, at least 99.9. .9. All right, 1% don't really matter. Okay? But anyway, that was my little take, my little spin on this salacious story Celebrity Insider brought out to us. I'm like a win, win, win. I'm glad, glad, glad. Woo! Candy birds, stop lying to us. Sit yourself down somewhere. Stop trying to make lies out there. Trying to Fix me up a, a little birthday cake, thinking I'm gonna get a real explosive deal out of this. Well, you know, I ain't gonna be nothing but a lot of cat fighting and backbiting. Okay, that's how y'all be doing cat fighting and backbiting with verbal words. All right, but y'all, that was my intake, my perspective on this piece of news. Can't try to throw out to us. Uh, talking about she met with Hollywood. Like, she need to go sit herself down somewhere and tell me what she's doing with that dungeon fight so we can bring Phaedra back on these premises on Real Housewives of Atlanta and really get the tan down stuff. Okay, the root, the ratings will be through the roof, Candy. It will be through the roof if you just set your your, your personal opinions aside, okay, and get to with the storyline bringing Phaedra back, even if it's just a friend of a friend, okay? But anyway, that's my pun intended. I will see y'all next video, and y'all be blessed. Good night.